Hello everyone and welcome to a Victory Update for Tuesday, May the 12th. We got a good program today. You, I'll tell you what, you need to call somebody, text somebody, whatever you got to do, tell them to get the Victory Channel on right now because this program is going to be powerful. Take my word for it. Just do what I say. One, because I've got <laughs> Quest Gatlin with me today. Quest, hey, welcome, my friend. It's good to be with you again. Yeah, uh, it's always good to Long have you Long time here. no see, Tim Yeah, Fox. like this morning, I think. Just right? early this morning. I yeah, told right. you this morning we were going to brag on God today. And we have. And, and we sure have. We're going to do that again this That's half it. hour as Amen. well. Also today, we are joined by our good friend over in the Partner Service Center, Pastor John Jester. Pastor, how are you, sir? Hey, guys. How's it going? I'm just letting you know, first and, for, first and foremost, that it is awesome being down here. I'm telling you, our prayer ministers, I can hear them in, uh, in the background right here praying, and I can hear some of our intercessors over uh, in a room just to my left that, that are praying right now, and they're praying for you. They're praying for the partners of this ministry. I want you to know that even when we're not on the air, when we're not on morning prayer in, uh, in the mornings, we are still here praying for you, taking your prayer requests, taking them before the throne, and we want to hear your testimony. So when you call us, you're calling us not just to call in because we want to get phone calls, but you're calling us for a point of contact and you're coming into agreement with us. 877-281-6297. You're coming into agreement with us. We're coming into agreement with you. And together we are going to see the power of God manifest in every situation. Back to you guys. Amen. Thank you, Pastor John. He's absolutely right. Call that number. 877-281-6297 if you have a prayer request. Now, Amen. Wes, we have something that we want to give to folks today, don't we? Listen, I'm telling you, it's been week after week of giving away free free product, right. which is cool. Right. So, yeah, I think I think you would agree that now more than ever, protection and safety over your family uh, couldn't be any more relevant Amen. considering all that's going on. And so what we wanted to do for you, the viewer, was to make this completely available to you. It's free via a digital download. It's cool that we can do this now. Tim. Uh, but what it is, is it's protection, uh, excuse me, it's protecting your family in dangerous times, a digital download by Kelly Copeland. Go to govictory.com slash victory update. Man, I love that we make these things available for yeah. free. Praise yeah, God. That's and awesome. Take advantage of it. Absolutely. We want you to have it. We're going to give it to you. Yeah. But you have to request it. You have to go online and get it. Now, let's get you caught up on the day's news with our reporter, Mike Garofalo. Mike, Thanks, Tim. Face masks are the new normal at the White House. For anyone visiting or working there, the president made the announcement on Monday after coronavirus scares in and around the West Wing. Last week, two staffers tested positive for COVID-19. While talking about masks, the president also discussed the children in New York who have been diagnosed with symptoms similar to Kawasaki disease, a rare inflammatory condition. We're seeing that all over the world now with young children. Very, very tiny percentage, but it's still it's uh, the swelling and the skin rash, and we're looking at that very closely, John. It's a, a phenomenon that's just been brought to everyone's attention a couple of weeks ago. Most of the children affected are toddlers and elementary age. Officials say three in New York have died from a possible complication from coronavirus involving swollen blood vessels and heart problems. There is no proof the virus causes the syndrome. And a new type of coronavirus test is on the fast track. Over the weekend, the Food and Drug Administration granted an emergency authorization for what's called an antigen test. It reportedly detects the coronavirus by looking for protein fragments associated with the virus. A nasal swab is used to conduct the test with results available in just a matter of minutes. San Diego-based Quidel Corporation has received authorization to produce that new test. And as summer approaches, the future of the Democrat and Republican National Conventions will be discussed. Currently, both are set to take place in August after the Democrats move theirs from July following the coronavirus outbreak. We are now hearing that the Democrat National Committee is getting ready for the possibility of a remote or virtual convention. The possibility of a resolution being introduced today to allow for such a contingency. The DNC's Rules and Bylaws Committee will be meeting by conference call today to discuss possibilities possible changes. The gathering of Democrats is currently scheduled to take place in Milwaukee on August 17th. Republicans are set to meet one week later in Charlotte, North Carolina. And like all airlines, United is struggling to survive as most Americans are choosing not to fly right now. But United says it is doing everything it can to make passengers feel safe, including making employees and customers wear face masks. We've purchased 750 devices called an electrostatic sprayer. 
These are devices that hospitals use to disinfect hospital rooms. We're now gonna start using them to disinfect the interior of our aircraft. United says there are only about 17 passengers on the average domestic flight, and the number of people passing through airport security checkpoints is down 93% from a year ago. Well, as pro sports leagues begin to discuss the path forward, Major League Baseball owners and players will be looking at a proposal to start the 2020 season in July without fans. Now, if the owner's proposal is approved by the Players Union, spring training would begin in early to mid-June, with opening day taking place around the July 4th weekend. Instead Instead of the traditional 162 game season, it would be more like 82 games. As for how revenue would be handled, there is a talk of a 50-50 split between players and teams. Attorneys for the former staffer who has accused Joe Biden of sexual assault back in the early 90s sent the former vice president a letter on Monday. Fox News is reporting Tara Reid's lawyers are asking the presumptive Democrat presidential nominee to authorize a search of his Senate papers for a complaint she filed back in 1993. Reid says she believes the paperwork detailing her complaint may be in Biden's Senate records at the University of Delaware. Up until now, Biden has refused to grant access to those records. And back to you in the Victory Studio. All right, Mike, thank you very much. You know, I love what Pastor Greg said yesterday. The fact that we give you the news, we do yeah. it in the spirit of faith. We do it in a spirit where uh, there's no negativity. I mean, that's you may good. hear news that may be negative, yeah. but we serve a God that's bigger than all that stuff, right? That's, that's so good and so true. I think yeah. it's important that you receive what's true, but lean on the truth of yes. the Word of God. I love yeah. that. One way you receive the truth is come to our drive-in service. Come now, on. I mean, we just Sunday had one morning. this last Sunday, our, yeah. our second one. Uh, you and I come from similar backgrounds in ministry. The difference is you know how to sing, I don't. <laughs> and I proved that this last Sunday. Uh, I had I had my, my opportunity last Sunday at the yeah. drive-in. You gotta come, see, if you missed the drive-in service, you missed here's, me with my debut. Here's the deal. Tim, I gotta say, most people don't know what they're missing right. when they miss the pre-show. That's right, the 9.30 All right. Central time. Yeah. I, I'm telling it's you. It's our countdown program that it, we do 30 minutes before. Yeah, yeah. yeah 30 minutes before right. service, so 9.30 a.m. Right. CT, if you're in the great state of Texas. There you go, right. 9.30 a.m. CT. And any, anything could happen at the 9.30 pre-show, and that's what makes it so much fun. It's the countdown before right. service. But yeah. listen, for those of you who uh, are watching us now, I want to invite you. Come on out to the drive-in service. So EMIC has been hosting, and I, and I said this. I said this week one. <laughs> I said this. I said it's going to continue to get better and yeah. better and better, and right. it really has. E everything from restrooms. Right. Come on with fancy woodwork. Right, and fancy woodwork <laughs> and air conditioning. <laughs> I'm telling you, we had So listen, I mean, it, all jokes aside, right. I appreciate that. Right. I've got kids. Did you appreciate my singing? I, no. uh, <laughs> anyway, I appreciate the bathroom. We got a no the from over here. So. Focus on the bathroom. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It, you know, it really, though, it's continuing yeah. to get better and better. And the response from people, the response from you, the viewers, right. has been has beginning to grow. More people are coming. Yeah. We've got restrooms. Visibility is becoming less and less of an issue for those right. parked in the back. But yeah. I want to encourage those who are watching, man, go to emic.org slash latest info for anything you need service right uh, 10 o'clock I mean, it's gonna be exciting yeah. it gets better and better every well single. I was going to participate in the praise yeah. break today but they said they brought some folks in that's right to, to make sure I didn't have to leave who, the desk who knew what they were doing so so let, let's hear Dave in the game with days of Elijah <laughs> are the days of your servant Moses righteousness be restored and these are the days of great trials of famine and darkness and sword so we are the voice in the desert crying prepare ye the way of the Lord behold he comes right Clouds shining like the sun at the trumpet call. Lift your voice, it's a year of Jubilee. And out of Zion's hill, salvation comes. And these are the 
days of Ezekiel, the dry bones becoming as flesh. And these are the days of your servant David, rebuilding a temple of praise. And these are the days of the harvest, the fields are as wide as There's no God like Jehovah. 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 salvation comes. My goodness gracious, what a great song. Thank you, Brittany. I, I could try to sing like that, but they're not going to let me anymore. I'm done. I, th I think I've had my one shot. So, uh, Since 1979, Dennis Burke has led multitudes of believers into biblical principles of faith, healing, love, prosperity, and righteousness. He teaches Christians everywhere to know God more intimately and brings revelation knowledge on the truths of God's Word. Dennis and his wife, Vicki, teach you how to live your life so you can be a shining example for those who experience impossible circumstances. I am proud to call this man my friend, Dr. Dennis Burke. How are you, sir? Yes, sir. Well, I'm doing well. <laughs> it is great to be here on Victory Channel. Oh, thank you, my and friend. And be here now, with you. You, uh, I want to get into what you had, what the Lord had for you, but uh, for those that don't know you, don't know much about you, uh, your life was one that was not a candidate for being in ministry at all. I mean, you were a candidate for going straight to hell, weren't you? Uh, you know, I was. Thanks for pointing that out. But, I, you know, we were all in, right, in we're trouble all there. at some right, stage. Right. But, you know, I was aggressive about it, and I was... Uh, <laughs> You know, I was a stoner. I, yeah. I got way into the drug scene in Southern California where I grew up and uh, long hair, hippie looking stuff and, yeah. uh, you know, dark times right. and uh, came to find Jesus in 1971 during that right. Jesus yeah. movement that was taking yeah. place. And there was things happening all over the world. But in Southern California, uh, there were some even some people I knew that uh, given their lives to the Lord, man. And it was quite a move of God. Yeah. And during that time. Yeah. You know, I really found the real deal. It was, it was. for real. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I've been at it ever since. Yes, you have. You've been a part of this ministry all those years. You worked here back uh, in those early years. Uh, we are what some people would call in perilous times right now. But you know what? They had perilous times in the Bible, didn't they? That's exactly right. Let's talk a minute about that. And how did they handle perilous times back in the olden days in, in the, the Bible? In the olden days, <laughs> Bible times. Yeah, in the Bible times. Well, you know, that's the thing about that terminology even, the perilous times, hard times, difficult times. I looked up a few ideas about a vicious, ferocious, fierce, unruly, uncontrollable, unpredictable, dangerous times. Wow. You know, they had it then. I mean, we know that's what the church was born into. It was born into persecution, troubled times. And it's not just persecution uh, uh, on the outside. It can be persecution even on the inside. And it can even be in the form of dangerous disease. We're under something that uh, has not been new to the church. Yeah. 
We're hearing it. We're seeing it right now on a different level. We're facing it uh, and hearing about these dangerous days on an ongoing basis. But man, it's nothing new to God and it's nothing new to the church. Right. And we're right. in those days. And we Paul are. warned us that we would see more of it in the last days. Yeah, yeah. And so we can't help but think that we are in those days, man. I mean, these yeah. are the times. And the Bible is full of examples of people. And, and really the reason the Bible is there is to show us that people went through the very same things we're going through now. Exactly. And there, God gave them a way out, didn't He? Exactly. Real troubled times. In fact, just about every hero of faith in Hebrews chapter 11 they had some dark times. They weren't all sterling type people even, but they all faced dramatic trouble, real serious problems. Yeah. And uh, that's one of the guys I want to talk about even here today. Because yeah. um, one of my favorites, and, and this just comes up in my spirit anytime I think about these kinds of troubles, is this man Gideon, mm. who uh, really he lived uh, in a time, it was 200 years after the days of Joshua, that great conquering campaign that Joshua led through uh, the entire uh, promised land and possessed it. But 200 years passed and Israel had lost their way, man. They had lost their confidence. They had lost their faith. Really, they had lost what it meant to live by covenant and live in victory. And they were under the thumb of some wicked people, the Amorites and various ites and Midianites and parasites probably, you know. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, the, uh, the days of Gideon, one of the most dramatic moments in, in the Old Testament is when Gideon is out hiding in a wine press, mm. just eking out a little bit of grain to feed his family, knowing that the Midianites were there and nearby and could come at any moment pressure them, squeeze them. And those Midianites, they were destroying all the crops, all the homes, all the families. Mm -hmm. Everybody was under pressure. They were living in caves. They were sheltering in place in order to stay away from the Midianites. <laughs> right. I, I don't know. It just yeah. really spoke to me. Sure. That whole example, because Gideon himself was no hero at that moment. He didn't feel the strength of the anointing. Yeah. He didn't feel, he felt the perils of the day. Yes. But God showed up and said something to Gideon. Listen yes. to this statement that he said in Judges 6, 12. The angel of the Lord appeared to him, Gideon, and said to him, the Lord is with you. Listen to this. Yeah. You mighty man of valor. Praise God. Two concepts that Gideon really probably wasn't feeling all that well. The Lord is with you. Yeah. Gideon, the Lord is with you. Here's why this means a lot to me right now. Because there's people I know that watch this program every day, and it is a life source, a lifeline of victory, of faith. Mm. And it should be, and it is. It is a voice. There are so many voices right now that are trying to get your attention and mind to tell us that the days ahead are not going to be good. But Jesus has given us something different to believe. And that's what this angel of the Lord said to Gideon, gave him something different to believe, yeah. that yeah. the Lord is with you. Yes. Now, Gideon may not have felt it, no. but the Lord was with him. But then the Lord goes on and says this to him, you mighty man of valor. There was two things that Gideon had to believe. He had to believe something about God wow. and he had to believe something about himself. He really did. He had to believe that God was with him. And, you know, as a believer, I mean, you're tuned into the Victory Channel. <laughs> you are a believer. We know that God's with us. But yes. what we've come to understand is something about ourselves also, mm. that we are the warriors. That's what that means to be a man of valor. Yeah. We are the warriors and we are the champions Praise because God. Jesus is on the inside of yeah. us. Yeah. There's a revelation that's becoming strong and we're moving into a time right now. There's a shift, a real reset taking place. That word's been coming up a lot. I've had that in my spirit. I first was down in Florida ministry in February and I had God drop that inside of me that this is all about this reset really? for you and me as believers and that we're moving into a time right now. Yeah when the shift is really real and taking place. So what's on the other side of that reset? What's on the other side of this? 
And it remains to be seen everything that's on the other side of it. But what's big on the other side of this is a body of believers that are the warriors, the champions, the voices. Just like that spirit that was on Gideon yes. that came alive in him yes. because of that word of the Lord. He was so fearful. And sometimes we can, you might be watching this, still feeling the pain <laughs> yes. of things that are going on. But the Lord is with you right mm. where you sit. Amen. And you are a champion, a warrior in God's eyes. Praise God. Because God's raising up people that on the other side of all of this nonsense, yes. there is a body of people that are the voices, the carriers of the anointing, the people in the streets and online and over the internet that are declaring the word of the Lord. Yeah. And there is an awakening. Yeah. That's the word we've been hearing now for a long time. Yep. But yep. man, I believe we are right on the threshold of seeing it in the biggest way possible. I think in some ways, Dennis, you're being very prophetic today because when God told Gideon that he was a mighty man of valor, Gideon did not see himself that way right at not first. At all. He had to believe that by faith. And you have said more than once today, champion and warrior. Talk to the people about how they can become a champion and a warrior. And that's already, that's already on the inside of them, isn't it? It is on the inside of us. Every believer has that anointing on the inside in Jesus that says you have been made in Christ something that you never dreamt of. You have been made a new creature in Christ, a, an mm. anointed one carrying, listen to this, carrying the same anointing that Jesus carried. Praise God. That is phenomenal. The Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost. You know, we're just a few days away from Pentecost Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. And I believe there's a shift and I think there's some timing involved in this by the Holy Spirit. That something's happening where as a believer, that igniting of the fresh fire of the Holy Spirit is deposited in you, but it's about to erupt if you'll allow it, if you'll take it. That's what Gideon, Gideon had to do. He had to take it. And that's what we have to do. Just because God said it doesn't mean it comes to pass unless we take it. There you go. The promise of God doesn't really become real to you till you take it. So we're taking it in the name of Jesus that God. right now, there is something erupting out of the inside of us mm. that reveals the warrior, the champion, the mighty man or woman of valor that you've been designed by God to be. Man, you have been designed in Christ to push back on the fear, on the control, on the manipulation. You see, mm. we can't make any mistake about this. All of this that's going on around us, it's about the body of Christ. It's about the plan of God being stopped. Yes. It's a war. Every war is really about that. Yes. But this is the war that is all about shutting down the church and shutting down your voice and shutting down your faith. Well, we're pushing back. That's yeah. why this, this time of victory on the Victory Channel, just feeding on this regularly is so strong <laughs> because it ignites something on the inside of you yes. that you will not fear. You will not hide. You will not be silenced. Mm. You are a believer in a voice that carries something right now. Oh. And because of it, man, we have what it takes to push back on disease, Whew. on the fear of Corona coming into your house, yeah. on the fear of lack, on the fear of economic disaster. Look, it doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter. Yeah. But from what I'm saying, it doesn't matter that we have faced pressure in mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. In the Holy Spirit, man, we know how to shine in days of pressure. Amen. Amen. God told Gideon not to panic. Yeah. Don't panic. This is not a time to feel the fear and let panic set in. Yeah. And that's why you got to feed on the right thing so that panic doesn't set in. Boy. We're in the days, we know we've got covenant yeah. that has given us the right to believe that in Christ we are sheltered. Vicky said something to me when they first started using this shelter. My wife, Vicky, man, you know, right. you know Vicky. Oh, I love Vicky. And she's got it. You know, <laughs> she does she's that. She's strong as it gets. <laughs> and, uh, and she said something to me uh, when we were hearing that, that word about sheltering. You got a shelter. And she said, well, that's nothing new for us. We've been sheltered under the shadow of the Almighty for all of our Christian life for decades, <laughs> man. That's what Psalm 91 tells us, to right. shelter in the, and under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, like you mentioned earlier, Tim, the scriptures are full of people that 
have faced adversity and they faced diseases, they faced threats, they faced enemies, they faced Amorites, they faced all kinds of different things, but they knew how to rise up. God gave them a word mm -hmm. and God's given you a word through Victory Channel right here and right now. Boy. You know, my wife, Vicki, she got to write a book. I wanted to mention it to you because- Oh, please do. Because in this, our, in this book that she wrote entitled, just happened to have one, <laughs> Help, It's Dangerous Out Here. Wow. And uh, subtitled, How to Walk in Supernatural Protection. Yeah. I want to encourage you to get it because um, there is in this so many stories just like we have in scripture stories of all the various people that knew how to rise up one after the other. Each chapter is about somebody who rose up in faith, yeah. stood in victory, pushed back experiences that Vicki and I had yeah. or people that we've known personally to see God's divine protection in dangerous times. We're in dangerous we times. We are, absolutely. We have what it takes. Yes, we do. We've and got it. I, I want to tell people how to get that book. Go to DennisBurkeMinistries.org, DennisBurkeMinistries.org, and you get your copy of that book. Dennis, take about a minute and a half, two minutes, and pray over and minister to the people Praise God. here on the program. Amen. Yeah. I want us to tie into this right now. There is an anointing in this studio, and it's right there with you, whether you're viewing on your phone or uh, your TV set or your pad. So I want you to lay hold on this anointing that's real and it's here right now. Father, I pray it in the name of Thank Jesus. You, I pray for the Thank power you, of the Holy Spirit that is born on the inside of every believer Thank you, Jesus. to rise up right now just like a river. Jesus, Thank you said you, that's Jesus. what it would be like. Out of our innermost being would flow rivers of living water. That right now there is a flood tide rising up that fire of the Holy Spirit and that flood of the anointing of God to drive out sickness, disease, fear, and lack. You, Father. And to reveal favor in the hand of Thank God you, Jesus. that rests upon every person right now in Jesus' name. Thank I want you, you to Father. receive it, the yes. favor, the Thank fire, you, the freedom, the power of the Holy Spirit Thank rising you, right up out of your innermost Thank being. You, in Jesus' Thank name, you, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. We are so blessed on the Victory Channel to have men like Dennis Burke available to us. You have been blessed today. It, this is what you get when you have a guy that's a traveling minister that hasn't traveled in a while. <laughs> he, he's he's kind of had this stuff all pent up for the last couple of months. He came in here loaded today. And I want to tell you, we got a treat today. And I keep calling that number. Our prayer ministers are still available to you. 877-281-6297. What you heard today was a message from heaven. I mean, Dennis really brought a great message. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. Thank you for Thanks coming for having today. Me. Man, this, this has been great today. Uh, I'm going to let the band play out as we go out here. Listen, don't miss tomorrow morning, 930 Eastern Time, morning prayer. You don't want to miss that program. And then we'll be right back here tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Eastern with Victory Update. Thank you guys for being with us today. We love you so much. Here's the band to play out. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah. 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 There's no God like